Praise the Lord, all you who respect him, all you descendants of Jacob, honor him, fear him, all you Israelites. He does not ignore those in trouble. He doesn't hide from them, but listens when they call out to him. Lord, I praise you in the great meeting of your people. These worshippers will see me do what I promised. Poor people will eat until they are full. Those who look to the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. People everywhere will remember and will turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations will worship him because the Lord is king and he rules nations. All the powerful people on earth will eat and worship. Everyone will bow down to him, all who will one day die. The people in the future will serve him. They will always be told about the Lord. They will tell that he does what is right. People who are not yet born will hear what God has done. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's take a moment to be quiet. And then maybe a few of us uh, will just be inspired to, to pray through some of these verses. Okay. Heavenly Father, as we draw together today, we come with a, a healthy, but also with a reverent fear for you and your name. Lord, we acknowledge that the beginning of, of wisdom is fear. And we thank you that you have revealed so much of yourself to us so that we have such a glorious understanding of who you are. But also we have a, a realization of who we are as well. And Lord, we know that there is such a distance between your, your glory and our fallenness. We appreciate there's such a difference between all that you know and our ignorance. But we thank you that it is through your son, Jesus Christ, that that, that, uh, that gap is, is no longer, that we don't need to cower before you and be frightened, but that we can come before you with reverence, but also um, with a uh, with, with a confidence knowing that you not only accept us and not only are we able to come into your presence, but that you delight in us coming towards you as well. And Lord, as we come to this time of prayer, would you help us to remain conscious of who we are talking to today? that yes, we are talking to a friend. We are talking to our father, but we're also talking to the King of Kings. And what a privilege, but also a responsibility that is. And for that, we do give you our praise. Amen. Amen. I'm looking at a couple of verses towards the end there verse 30 and 31 and just reminds me that uh, reads in my bible posterity will serve him future generations will be told about the lord they will proclaim his righteousness declaring to a people yet unborn he has done it and uh, father god i thank you so much that before we were born that your gospel was proclaimed and there was a time in our lives where we heard your gospel, Lord, and we responded. And Father, we're so grateful for those that <clears throat> who pointed us in the right direction, for those that uh, demonstrated by their love and by their care and by their words uh, that you uh, had a love for us. And Father, we thank you uh, for this time that each of us have so much to be thankful for, for those that have uh, given us your word of life and we thank you Lord Jesus this was all prepared before we were born 
And Father, as we look ahead to future generations, we pray that uh, equally true, whether it's through our children, our grandchildren, or through children of others, or in different ways, that we will be uh, signs to those in our generation and, and a new generation will uh, hear your word, hear your gospel. And Father, we thank you for the opportunities that we have with perhaps our own families and those that are near to us. But we thank you as well that we have the opportunity to support all those missionary agencies who are proclaiming your word. Uh, there is something that we can all do, Lord, to proclaim your message. So, Father, we thank you once again that uh, for your word of life that came to us in different ways and different times, but is such that has given us life now and your spirit is with us. We give you praise and thanks, dear Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. One verse there says, the poor will eat and be satisfied. And my thoughts went to the food banks that uh, we seem to have so many of around us these days. And we do pray, Lord, for the, the poor, in a sense, within our community who are, uh, I won't say starving, but, but, but depend so much upon the food banks for their uh, daily uh, physical needs of food and we do uh, just thank you lord that in many cases it is the churches where these food banks are maintained and held and, and there are the opportunities to reach out with the with the good news of the gospel the verse goes on those who seek the lord will praise him and lord we pray that many who go to the food banks and hear uh, the good news of jesus will come to praise him as well we ask it in, in your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. So I thought one of our prayer focuses today could be for our deacons. We have a deacons meeting this evening. And um, there, like always, there's a number of things on, on our agenda. And especially as we think about... Um, the, our own roadmap out of lockdown uh, as well as uh, some other bits and pieces as well I thought it'd be good just to to dedicate some time to be praying for not only the the meeting tonight but also the roles and responsibilities that our deacons have between them even though you know certain aspects of ministry might have seemed or have been quite thin on the ground over this last year. Many of these responsibilities for the deacons have just continued. And also it would just be good to be praying for them, not only uh, uh, as deacons, but also um, for their other responsibilities in their lives as well, um, their, their home lives, uh, a number of our, our deacons uh, work as well to be praying for their health. Um, I appreciate that uh, you may want to be mentioning names in this part. And so um, if that does happen, then I just won't share this publicly on, on, uh, on YouTube, but just um, on the prayer chain, really but we'll see see how that goes but i thought it'd just be really good to be praying for them obviously as we come towards a pastoral vacancy as well that inevitably adds extra responsibilities onto our deacons and from from now on really there's there's some different things that they need to be thinking about that they wouldn't have been thinking about before so i thought it'd be good just to be just to be praying for them uh, and also just appreciating that we've got uh, a few of our a few of our deacons with us on the, at this prayer time as well Lord we thank you that you have chosen and called people 
to be in the leadership of this church. You've called people to be deacons. And Lord, we know that they cannot do this in their own strength. They could, a lot of them are very powerful, talented, strong, strong people. But whatever they do in their own strength doesn't count for building for the kingdom. And we do thank you that you have given us a gifted people um, who are prepared to give those gifts that you have given them in your service. And Lord, we we ask now that as they have this, um, in a sense, double burden that they need to be seeking you over, we ask that we as members of the congregation will be supporting them in their role. Um, it's not entirely their role. Um, we, we are with them in prayer and Lord, may we be uh, bringing our prayers to you for them to find your will for both of these things. Lord, um, I, I pray for great wisdom to know how to come out of lockdown um, and uh, which things are good to do, which combinations, give them inspiration. Maybe there's things they haven't thought of yet. Um, and if things that have been done in the past are good to be redone, then let them have confirmation from you. But if there are new things you want them to do and give them the energy and enthusiasm to do this again, because we have come out of lockdown before and then we've been shut down again. Lord, I pray that they will be able to come with excitement to hear what you're going to be saying to them about this. And Lord, as they uh, face this um, new thing of an interregnum and uh, looking for who you would um, have to uh, lead this congregation, I pray, Lord, that again, they would be hearing your voice. And Lord, we can have confidence because we we know that you have provided us with a good person in the past who's now leading us. Um, we, we can have confidence that you will provide as we wait for you to provide the right person. And so, Lord, I, I ask you will bless this uh, meeting this evening. Lord, I, when you have a, a lot of people together in a room, even if it's a Zoom room, um, and they are all people who uh, are good at leading and organizing and the sort of people who will have ideas. I pray that they will know how to give room for each other and how to give room for the Holy Spirit to speak through um, people who are voicing your ideas uh, at this time. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, your word says that you will build your church. And Lord, we thank you um, for the part of the church that you've built in um, Sidcup and for the blessing that that church has been to many over the years. Lord, um, nothing surprises you, nothing comes out of the blue for you. Lord, you know the future, you know the past. Lord, you just know all things, and you've always got a plan ready um, to put into place. Lord, we pray that you will bring about your plans for um, Sidcut Baptist Church in the future. Lord, we do pray that you will lead us and guide us by your Holy Spirit, that, Lord, you will place your thoughts in our minds. Lord, you will give us your enthusiasm and courage to go forward in your name. Lord, it is difficult to know, for us to know the future, for us to see what's happening, Lord, because we've got no idea. Lord, we're blind to what's going on. But, Lord, you see all, you know all. You are in all. And so, Father, we just pray for Sid Cup Baptist Church, Lord, that you will continue to lead and guide the people there. And that, Lord, that church may continue to be a light and a beacon um, to the neighbourhood around the church. Lord, our desire is to see people coming to you, being saved, being discipled in you and being made whole in you. Lord, we just pray for your guidance, for your leadership. And Lord, we pray for discernment for, Lord, all those on the diaconate, Lord, as we meet this evening. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray that the deacons will uh, in the coming weeks find the help that they need 
uh, to go through the process of finding a new pastor. Uh, we know this is uh, uh, done a particular way in the Baptist churches, and there is help available. And we just pray that you'll help the leadership team to find the right help and get um, independent advice where necessary uh, in their search for uh, a, a replacement pastor. Please uh, help in that way and uh, give all of the leaders, we pray, um, the skills they need and the strength they need uh, and the energy they need to uh, take us as a church through this um, period ahead. Uh, please bless and help us, Lord, so that uh, we, as has already been prayed, we find the person who is uh, next in line to lead us and uh, is in line with your will. We pray in your name and for your own glory's sake, dear Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, I just want to pray for Alex, and I pray that you will give him um, strength as he continues um, these these last days at uh, Sidcup in his ministry here, but that you will be strengthening him and equipping him for what you want to draw him into next. And I just pray that you will give him rest, give him strength, um, just anoint him, Lord, and inspire him. Um, in, in, even in, in, this la in these last couple of months, Lord, I just pray that you will be um, strengthening him, preparing him, and, and I just pray for his family as well, that they, they will um, really know your close touch, um, and your anointing, um, on their lives, Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the many opportunities that we have coming up to um, to to reach out to others. We thank you for um, the many dates that we have on our calendar, like Mother's Day and Easter and Father's Day and, and Pentecost and all of these opportunities to, to, to make something of these days, to be able to, to, to celebrate these things, to be able to celebrate people, to be able to celebrate things that you have done in history and to uh, connect with the wider community as well. And Father, with all these opportunities that we're going to have, especially as we come out of lockdown as well, I pray that you just give uh, us um, as a leadership, but us as a, as a membership, as a fellowship, that you would just give us that, um, uh, that direction that we need to know how to make uh, the very most of these opportunities, to make the most of these gifts that you are going to be giving to us. And I pray, Father, that you'd please uh, resource us where we need resource us you'd give us inspiration where we need inspiration that you'd give us um, help whether it's internal or external so that this would just not only be exciting opportunities but there would be a wonderful realization of what you are doing and that there would be a great fruitfulness from this new season of opportunity Father, I do pray um, for uh, those uh, children who are in year six, who at school, who yesterday found out about what secondary schools they'll be going to. Uh, and we thank you, Father, for those who are excited about um, where they're going to be going. Father, we do want to pray for those who are feeling disappointed, maybe not getting their, their, their first choice. <clears throat> and we just think of all the, the families, we think of all the parents that are affected uh, as well. 
and we pray father that you would um, please uh, bless those families in particular known to us uh, where where we know um, children who are in year six and lord that you please be giving them peace at this time we know father that this has been such a difficult year and lord we know that maybe from our own experiences we know that year six should be uh, an enjoyable year being the oldest in, in in the school and getting ready for secondary school and it, it's just been uh, such a disrupted year but i pray father that as uh, as the months go on as as the school year comes to a close in uh, in a few months time lord that you'd please be readying uh, these year sixes for secondary school lord give them the peace um, that they need give them the strength that they need and lord please would you be preparing a wonderful future for them father i also want to lift up one of our sisters who um, is feeling low today because uh, there are so many question marks over an operation uh, which she may or may not receive and father i feel for her as she hasn't been able to as she hasn't been contacted by the hospital and there seems to be a bit of a mix-up perhaps poor communication and i pray father that today that you would give her your, your peace again and lord would you just be working it in in her circumstances in the circumstances of the department um, and the staff that um, who are helping her so that today would be the day when she hears from them and would be granted an extra measure of peace knowing what is going to be happening uh, in the near future so we do lift her her and her situation up to you as well we thank you, Father, that we've been able to be in your presence. We thank you, Father, that we've been inspired by your word and that we've been inspired by your Holy Spirit. And I pray, Father, today that as we live out today um, with what, whatever we've got on or with whatever we don't have on, that we would be continue to be reminded of your Holy Word and that we would continue to know uh, the help of your Holy Spirit in um the in 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 the way that we approach today and the gift of today we pray these things in jesus name amen mm -hmm.